everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a little while it's been probably over a month by now but I am back hopefully with more regular videos I did mention in my last video that I would be away throughout the majority of August and I was I spent August in Portugal with my family and friends and I just had a really 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 lovely summer I did hope to upload maybe one or two videos whilst I was out there but I just I just didn't I sort of took it like chilled relaxed sort of vibe whilst I was out there I really didn't update much on socials other than Instagram that was the only platform I was really kind of active on and yes I've been back since since the end of August basically so I had hoped to have this video up last week but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I've been feeling like a little bit self-conscious and um, yeah just like the idea of sort of sitting down and filming a video has actually felt really quite daunting because it's been a while since I last uploaded and then I just have this really weird sort of irrational thought in my mind that like oh gosh I don't want to come back and like look ugly <laughs> um, so yeah but I'm back I feel like that I don't know I just feel like that's so silly and we all have moments of um like confidence issues and things like that and I just think where I'm posting so much of myself and sort of looking at myself so much like I'm trying really hard to make this sound as least narcissistic as possible but you know I upload on Instagram and it's photos of myself I edit photos of myself then I'm editing videos of myself and I feel like I'm just constantly looking at myself which then leads me to sort of pick at loads of different flaws um so yeah I've definitely been feeling that like quite a bit throughout the month of well throughout the start of this month basically so that's why I'm a little bit delayed I've had like bad skin and things like that and it's just I don't know it's just really put a down I have a massive spot on my chin at the moment which I'm hoping I managed to cover somehow. Honestly, I don't know how you beauty gurus do it, but I have no clue how to cover like massive spots. I just can't. But anyway, we are here. We are back. Hopefully getting back into a bit of a routine with my videos. It's always tricky to get back into a routine, but fingers crossed it's happening. And of course, I wanted to kickstart things with my August favourites. Seeing as I didn't update you much throughout last month, I thought it'd be nice to show you what I was loving. So starting off with fashion bits and bobs. The first one, oh my gosh, I've just looked at this now and I've actually worn it paired with this dress on holiday. So that's quite funny. It's this beautiful like plaited detail headband from Nasty Girl. I love this. It's beautiful. It's got a very velvet feel to it and it's this gorgeous like off-white cream color it's so pretty it's a really like beautiful 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 headband and the only reason I'm not wearing it today is because I have my natural straight hair at the moment and I personally prefer this when my hair is curly because it's a bit more voluminous and it's just a bit bigger and this is a very like big bold headband so I feel like with my straight hair it can be a little bit overwhelming but I love this it got so many compliments when I shared it on my Instagram I've shared it a couple of times when I've worn it I've absolutely loved it oh it's just such a nice piece and I also think despite being a light color I would 100% still get wear out of this throughout autumn and winter as well maybe not winter because I feel like winter we're swapping the cute hair accessories for big woolly hats but for autumn time I'm pretty sure I can still get a lot of wear out of this with some of my more autumnal pieces and it's just such a fun little accessory like I said I like it when my hair is curled and when I want to look a little bit extra. I also have to give mention to what have been my favourite sandals this summer. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you are probably sick and tired of seeing these plastered all over my feed. But they are just, I mean, they don't look like much when I hold them up because they are really such a simple style of shoe. But they're from Misguided and they are a flat sandal. This is very, very similar to sort of a designer style that is out there at the moment where it's just super simplistic it's literally just got these sort of strings that tie around your foot it's a very simple classic sandal and I really really liked that it was perfect for if I wanted to be a bit more dressed up on holiday I didn't even touch any heels or anything with any sort of heel height to them these are pretty much flat as you can see and these are the ones I wore all the time even if I wanted to like dress up a little bit I would go for these sandals they are absolutely perfect and I just loved them now despite only wearing this next piece once like ever I've only ever worn it once but despite that I 
had to include it in this favourites video because I love it. Like, I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. And it is this gorgeous dress from New Look. Under £30, which I think is absolutely amazing because it looks so much more expensive. It's just beautiful. It's very in line with the sort of slip styles that we're seeing at the moment that have been so popular throughout the summer. But the thing I liked about this one in particular was that it's actually cinched in at the waist, which most slip dresses aren't. Most slip dresses will sort of hug your figure and sort of shape um, the way your figure is shaped, does that make sense? They'll fall to the natural shape of your body. And whilst that can be very flattering, it's not necessarily flattering on all body types. And I would say I am usually a pear shape and where my hips are larger than my chest area is. And because of that, I feel like a slip dress is never that flattering. It sort of hugs me at my hips and just makes my upper half look really like small and like square like which I don't like whereas with this one you've got the gorgeous cowl neck detailing which looks really beautiful on your chest and then because it's cinched in at the waist it gives me my waist back and then goes over my hips which I think is beautiful and lastly a bra I feel like I wouldn't really show this type of thing which is why I really wanted to include it in my favorites because it's something I wear every single day, but I don't necessarily talk about too often. But I wanted to share this bra with you. I mean, it's a nude bra. How exciting does a nude bra get? Let me tell you. This one has so many, oh, just so many features that I think are great. It's from a brand called Be Tempted. I have quite a few bras from the brand. Actually, I think they're really great. They have a huge variety of sizes, which is fantastic. I am a 30 D, which can actually be quite a hard size to find. So this is just one of their standard nude bras like I said not much to a nude bra however this has a beautiful beautiful scalloped detailing which I think is so pretty it's just a really nice detail this is a very standard classic bra like there really isn't that much to it but where it's got this scalloped detailing I just think it makes it look all the more pretty I feel much more prettier when I'm wearing this and the best bit if you know me you're gonna know why this makes me so happy but look at that it's leopard print on the inside, which I just think is fantastic. Like, I absolutely love this little design detail. As you can see, the back is quite a thick one as well. It's super comfortable. It's a really nice, stretchy material. It feels super comfortable when it's on. It fits really well, and I just thought, as a classic standard, like, nude bra i love this one this next piece is one that i've actually managed to wear in so many different ways and it's just it's just such a great piece i have to admit it's this beautiful chain linked necklace from monica vinader i actually worked with them sharing this when it was first launched and i loved it i loved the different ways you could style this as a necklace you can style it as a choker you can style it with sort of some chain pieces coming down basically every other chain is interchangeable so you can just unclip it and make it smaller you can make it into a choker if you like you can make it into a slightly longer one and something that I did in the summer was I actually made this into a bracelet instead because I feel like with necklaces and things like that I wasn't wearing them as often whilst I was away just because of like creams and things like that I didn't want to get them all tarnished however I was wearing a lot of bracelets which I'm not wearing at the moment I'm back to my classic bracelets now but I was wearing quite a few and what I did was actually unlink some of these and turn it into a bracelet. So I was wearing it as a bracelet instead. Obviously it's Monica Vinader, so you are paying a premium price for it, but where you can use it in so many different ways, as a choker chain, as a normal sort of chain necklace, as a bracelet if you'd like, the possibilities are really endless with this piece. I mean, you could even go as far as wear it as an anklet if you'd want to, like you can do whatever you want, which I think is absolutely amazing. You can definitely tell I haven't filmed for a while because I am talking so much and I know it's going to be a tough one to edit and probably a long video for you to watch so a big thank you if you are still watching so next up I want to chat through some of my beauty favorites starting off with the MAC prep and prime fix plus spray this is a mini because it's part of some of their limited edition scents that they released for summer so they released five scents one of those being watermelon and this is the one I took away with me because I thought it was the one that most reminded me of summer basically and I I loved using this. I went to a masterclass with the MAC team and they were really great. They said, they basically showed us 
all the different ways you can use Fix Plus. And honestly, you can use it for everything and anything. I have loved this. Use it as a setting spray, which is what I think most of us know it's for, but you can also use it to like dampen your brushes, to dampen your beauty blender. You can use it in between layers of makeup, like for example, to sort of settle down or fix down your base and then go on to, with your other products, whether they be cream or powder products. It's just a really great like in-between one. I love the scent of this and of course it's a max classic. Sticking to the watermelon theme, like I said, it's very much a summer theme for me. I really, really loved the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. I love something really quite heavy on my lips overnight. So I used this majority of the evenings whilst I was in Portugal and loved it. It tastes so nice like it smells like watermelon and it tastes like watermelon which i think is great and it works really well as a hydrating lip oil i definitely felt the hydration whenever i use this which i love i'm still using it now that i'm back in the uk as well it's just reminding me of summer onto a moisturizer now and this was my daily moisturizer of choice it's from the body shop and from the body shop's vitamin c range which is actually a range that i've mostly discovered this summer and absolutely loved everything i've tried from the range so far i have really really enjoyed using so this is their glow protect lotion with spf 30 in there i'm sure you all know by now the importance of spf particularly on your face so i was using this religiously every single day every single morning popping this on and i like it i love the smell of this as well it says it's for dire, dull tired and grumpy skin i feel like a dull tired and grumpy describes me just in general throughout the start of this month um but i really enjoyed this i enjoyed using this in the summer and i'm still using it now as well another spf that i've actually been toying with whether or not should be included in my favorites but i finally decided that yes i want to include it and it is the bondi sands protect and tan in spf 15. now clearly the spf is really quite a low one in comparison to normal i would usually go for an spf 30 i would say and obviously this is half of that but the reason i've loved this is because it is a tanning oil and that's how i have mostly used it i will either have my typical spf 30 on underneath and then apply this over the top or i will just reapply this much more frequently throughout the day and i mean i've spoken about this more in depth on my instagram because i was just so intrigued by it and i do think it has its downfalls i mean it's very oily um but obviously that that's part it comes with the name it is a tanning oil um but it's not water resistant it really doesn't cope well in the water i would put like my legs in the water after applying this and honestly it would just all go white and then sort of be like a bit streaky on the skin which obviously is not ideal if you're in a beach or a pool and you just want to be in and out of the water this is definitely for i used to apply this when i was re getting ready to leave so i had my last dip in the pool got out dried myself a little bit and then popped this over for the final hour hour and a half that i was still in the sun and that's how I personally chose to use this product and I feel like that's the best way to use it otherwise it's just a little bit too messy but the reason I wanted to include it still in my favorites is because I do think it helped me tan and I am all here for that in the summer I do try to get a bit of a tan I don't tan very very well but I definitely think that this helped me a little bit and I would definitely buy again next year I would definitely use it again I mean I've still got quite a bit left and I would definitely use it again and believe me I lathered myself in this stuff and the final bits and pieces I wanted to share are more like lifestyle miscellaneous pieces basically the bits that don't fit into beauty or lifestyle so first up i mean i feel like i speak about these a lot but it's a corksicle canteen this is one i actually got for the summer so it's a really 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 large size um and fantastic i have this in my bag at all times it's a really great way to try and save money whilst you're abroad because obviously you don't need to keep buying drinks and waters and things like that and it's also the best way at least that i found to travel with a cold drink that stays cold portugal gets very warm i mean my area we had days where it was over 40 degrees it is a really really warm summer for us and so having a cold drink with you at all times is essential and cork's call keeps my drinks cold i think it varies between sizing but this size in particular i believe keeps 
cold drinks cold for 16 hours and hot drinks hot for either 12 or 14 hours uh, which is fabulous like it's really really great I use a smaller size in my handbag in London all the time I actually think I featured that in my last favorite so I really am a fan of the Corkscrew brand last but by no means least my little Azarina purse this is personalized with my initials on it in gold you can get everything personalized with either an emoji or initials or whatever you fancy in either gold or silver but this is my little purse which I don't use much in London but is perfect whenever I'm traveling or if I'm going on a night out basically when I need fewer things on me I feel like in my purse I just have 101 different cards and things whereas when I'm traveling or whatever I literally just have my ID card and a bank card as well and then all my money and change is perfectly fitted in here I would also typically wear a slightly smaller bag where my big purse doesn't really fit and because I want to be carrying around my cameras and things as well this is perfect it's a way that I can just keep my essentials on me at all times but have everything in one place and it's also pretty which helps and so there we go those are my august favorites hopefully i'll be back to my weekly uploads every thursday so do subscribe to my channel to see more and you click the notification buttons or bell if you'd like a notification when i upload as well that way you won't miss any of my videos my next video should hopefully be my porto vlog because i did vlog it and i'm very proud of myself for sticking sticking with it and vlogging the three days. I hope you enjoy watching it, but like I said, that will be up next week. A big thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.